Hello music fans, today we're looking at my top 10 albums of 1971 and let's start it right off with number 10 which is Master of Reality by Black Sabbath. This is a solid album, almost like a stoner doom metal album. One of the early examples of that style. There's awesome electric guitar riffs on here, some cool little acoustic guitar instrumental palette cleansers uh, in between those heavier electric guitar riff songs. My number nine is Fireball by Deep Purple. This is a solid album, like quite as good as the one before, which was Deep Purple and Rock, but still pretty good album by this awesome legendary hard rock band. And my number eight is Aqualung by Jethro Tull. This is their fourth album. It's an awesome progressive folk rock with lots of flute. Some of the songs are fairly hard rocking, but other songs sound like very whimsical English folk music. My number seven is Tarkus by Emerson, Lake and Palmer. The title track on here is a long epic that's really great. Then there's a bunch of short and quirky tracks that I have to be in the mood for, but when I'm in the right mood, it, they're all great as well. My number six is Nursery Crime by Genesis. This is their third album. Very nice atmosphere on here with the guitars and keyboards. It's a very English sounding album. Number five is Led Zeppelin IV by Led Zeppelin. It's their fourth album, of course. It starts with some of the heavier tracks like Black Dog and Rock and Roll. Then there's some softer, folkier tracks. It contains the legendary song Stairway to Heaven, of course. This is a good listen from start to finish. Uh, lots of variety in here, hard rock to soft acoustic folk music. My number four album in 1971 is Metal by Pink Floyd. This is their sixth album. It contains the almost 24 minute epic Echoes. The other tracks on this album are decent too, but that one really steals the spotlight here. Number three is Acquiring the Taste by Gentle Giant. This is the second album by this great progressive rock band. Possibly their most experimental and progressive album. They're least accessible, so definitely not the best place to start if you're new to Gentle Giant, as this isn't a band for normal people. It's a very weird band. Every member of the band is a virtuosic multi-instrumentalist, and they combine influences from medieval folk music, classical music, and rock, and do lots of cool vocal harmonies and wild syncopation and rhythms. And then my top two, spoiler alert, they're both by the same band, and number two is the Yes album by Yes. Their third album, this is the first one with Steve Howe, who's my favorite of the Yes guitarists, though all the Yes guitarists are good. This is one where they really found their unique style and sound as a band. And then my number one album in 1971 is Fragile, also by Yes. This is their fourth album. It's a beautiful album. This album and uh, Close to the Edge are among the albums I would hand to somebody if they asked me what are some of the defining albums for progressive rock. Four tracks on Fragile are group compositions, which are all great. The remaining five are short solo pieces written by each band member. And I kind of like the vibe that that brings to the album because each member gets a chance to have the spotlight shine on them in this album but you can also hear what it sounds like when they all work together. And that's it for my 10 favorite albums from 1971. What are some of your favorites? What do you think of albums on this list? Let me know down in the comments. And my next video in this series will be, of course, 1972. So stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be aware of when that comes out. And until then, peace out.